because because he is losing his steam as far as like like you said, it's like when music go mainstream and niggas start making pop records. Right. That's all it is. Mentioning pop records, we might as well give a little bit of a talk about uh about Drake and um, Aubrey. Aubrey Graham. Uh, let me let me get um, the popcorn out for this. For, one. for for all the dogs, <laughs> for all the dogs Fact. dropped. Yeah, two, Friday has just what, about you two, two weeks removed from uh, for all the dogs, about two weeks removed now. Um, he came out with the first track, um, 8, 8 a.m. in Charlotte was the like teaser to the project. He gave us a time stamp uh, track. It fed the streets, I mm-hmm. felt like enough. Everyone, everyone was intrigued, and like, all right, Drake's gonna be rapping, he's, he's rapping on this album. Um, it was definitely a different tone for any time stamp track, it was much more dark, kind of, much more moody, kind of. The way he, the way the beat was, the way it sounded, but he was definitely giving it to you. Giving us what? No, he's just talking, talking this shit. You know, doing this Drake shit. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, really, 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 that's my point. You know, I'm like you know what? You know what? I'm just gonna. I don't feel kind of rushed, honestly. It feels like a rushed album. I just, watched it with at it. the end of the day. I like some of it. I like, it's, I, I like it's Drake, I, I like of course. A, it's Drake. I, 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 it's Drake. That's my point. I just want, because I don't want to sound Joe Budden esque when I say this. But I'm going to need for Jimmy Brooks to grow up, man. I, I want to hear maturation in my artist, and you still singing about ex bitches and you being bitter and like, like all right, bro. Honestly, we, bro, like, as much as I love the J. Cole track, I would right? be like, oh, still talking about selling dope right now. I, as much as I love the J. Cole track right now, like when I, when I listen back to it now, in, in comparison to the song, the song that Cole did with Yachty, Secret, Secret Recipe, where him and him and Yachty are like on the same page. The recipe is way better. Because him and Yachty are on the same page, while on first first person shooter, it's like Cole and Drake start off on the same page for a little bit. Like Cole enters it off, Drake kind of flows off of him, and then Cole goes crazy. Then it's a beat change, and then like. Drake does like a whole like minute long outro interlude song. That's like it's cool, but it's like Cole just was spazzing, bro. It's your record. Like what? What's the what's the competitor? You talking about who to go? Who to go? Who to go? And and for y'all to not that's crazy, right? Because I just listened to that shit last night. For y'all to um not have a record since in the morning, and you on a competitive record with Cole for you to get in there and. Do all that chanting and not get in there and rap with that man. I almost feel like it was disrespectful to Cole, low key. I mean, it's like, um, they had that song, Josie Freestyle, also that was on um, Care Package. It was a, like a release in like 2013, like, it was like a little loose that he had. We got released mm-hmm. recently with a Care Package. That's cool, but to your point, so these niggas ain't had a record together in a decade, and that's what two out men did. Darling, yeah. Charlene, so- Marlene, I, like. My nigga, come on. Bro. Don't get me wrong, the shit, the shit catchy, but it's like doing that. The way he did that, it should have been featuring Travis Scott, not Cole. Cole should be on that. That song should you either, either come back with I'm saying, do something with. I'm saying like because honestly, I think the fans are imagine like, imagine Drake and Cole on Secret Recipe. I'm saying Drake really gonna rap. See, that's our thing. I don't I'm not saying I understand that Drake. Has audiences to appease. I'm not even gonna kick his back in for catering into the TikTok crowd because I guess you got to change with the times. When Jay was getting older, he found ways to stay relevant to a younger crowd for a minute. Yeah. Um. And and, and Drake is only 37, so it's yeah. not like he not like he's 47. So I'm not saying he got to give us four, 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 but all the things you've been through in life. Let's give us American father. Damn it. Let's give us American. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like you become a father. You keep making all these business deals. You're like things. I'm pretty sure things are happening in your life, and I'm not saying that you got to give us your whole life because there should be some mysteriousness maintained in right. celebrityism or whatever. But like that's the, I, the the same gripe I got with him. I got with Wayne. I got with Marshall. Got with so it's like we want to see growth and like what's happened. Like we we from the era where. Because now people fall in love with the algorithm and the, whatever the catchy tune is. We're mm-hmm. from the era, and those artists, those are like the last artists from the era that we actually grew with you and got to know you as a person, Jimmy. Like, come on, bro. Like, we know you from the grass. So you don't talk about none of this shit. 
You don't talk about nothing like whatever's happening in your life. You're making out like you don't talk about any of it. I can, and I, I can see, I can see gonna, Drake. I can see just, Drake in twenty years writing books like Will Smith is doing. Like in twenty years, he's writing this kind of book. But like, it's, it's crazy you say that because like, one of Drake's albums that I have grown to appreciate more over time is Scorpion. Um, Scorpion. I like Scorpion more. Scorpion has I still, could do, I still could do without the second disc. It's, 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 it's a lot. It's a lot of bullshit on Scorpion. Like a lot of throwaway songs because it's two discs. It's like them in thirty tracks. But like, mm-hmm. when it's like a Sanders Rose, I'm saying. I it's love like, Sandra Rose. It's like the last time I heard Drake get vulnerable like that, for real. Like actually start like, when he does that, he's a genius. He Whenever said, he does that, he a genius. Yeah, all I gotta do is an album on that song. He says, All I gotta do to really knock it out of the park is make an album full of these. So he's aware of it and he still yeah. won't do it. It's it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Like, he, he, he's a song with scissor. I'm surprised Slime Slime Out didn't do bigger. I like Slime Slime Out a little bit, but it says a lot that the song with Cole is passing, and you giving us this hooky shit is the one that went number one. Because it says it speaks volumes that that's the one that went number one for you. Like out of all the songs in the album, the one with Cole with his rapping happening went number and that's, one. And that's my problem with Drake. When you are the biggest person in the game, you influence what the trend is. You don't yeah. follow it. Yep, absolutely. When like I said, when the last time he recorded this, when Ho wanted to kill Auto Tune, it didn't quite work, but he still right. went out and tried it. It worked. Though. Went, it it did work. Yeah, because a lot of niggas stopped like, for, like, for like a real quick, like a good second. And then, like, you know, yeah. was, Atlanta was already bubbling with it. Like, it was like, all right. But it, yeah, was, like, it, was, quiet, uh, it was a good quiet two he years. Killed, he killed a nice amount of it. For sure. But until, um, until Wayne brought it back then. a little bit. Like, when Wayne started Change doing clothes, it, it was over off the jerseys, grow, grow up a little bit. Uh, Whenever, whenever Ho says so, Ho, he almost tried to get Tim's out of there, but he was Drake in that moment. Yeah, that probably worked. That shit. But off that, um, <laughs> off that, yeah, it, that, that wasn't gonna work. Niggas wasn't gonna not wear Tim because of that. Like, niggas but, have full closets of, of jerseys, bro. He got rid of all that shit for Ho. He got, but that's my thing. You can dictate where the energy goes, and you choose to follow the TikTokers. I was a little disappointed in that. Just if I'm just being honest, I was disappointed by it. Yeah, but Drake is always like his whole sexy career. red record. His and whole you didn't bring her to you didn't bring sexy red to your world. You went to her world and did hands on your knees. Like but that that's been Drake's whole career in a sense. Like kind of. Like he's always kind of just like when he, he first came out. When he first came out, he was not the guy he was. When Wayne signed him, he started doing more Wayne stylistic tracks. You know, he'll mm-hmm. add his own sauce to it, of course, but it was still, you know, it was and, and bingo. Bingo card, you're not gonna like when I say this, but we gonna, we're not gonna act like Drake didn't ride Big Sean's way for a minute. With the flow? He did. With the flow? Yeah, he did. He, he did for a minute. I mean, he, he took it and killed it. <laughs> I, mean, he, I mean, he owned that motherfucker, boy. Hey, Big Sean, he, I give you credit, but he took that shit and said, bye bye. <laughs> hey, get this one back. Oh it's going God. down basement, nigga. Oh my drink. <laughs> you know what what, what Hov say? You made it. You made it a nice song. You know what I'm you made it hot line. I made it. You know what I'm made it hot song. <laughs> what you talking about? It was different. Oh but, man. Yeah, Big man. Big Sean. He one of them artists that I feel like have a lot of influence too. Like his, his style was original. He came with original. Drake. And we talked about it last time we recorded this. Like we we hear Wayne's influence nowadays. We hear. The influence that Hove had, we hear the influence that Kanye had, we hear the influence mm-hmm. of many of the greats. We have certain uh, many of the greats have children, basically, like they have, they have yeah. birth, they have yeah. birth another ch- somebody else like them. But Nas even has like you can you can give Nas Cole, you can give Nas certain like certain rappers birth off of Nas Street. At no this one, point, I, Cole got at this point Cole got kids. Corday, I'm saying Corday Chance, like them niggas sound like yeah. Listen to Cole growing up. I said even... that. I said that. I, I said that. I was listening. I was listening to uh, Florida Dogs last night. Cause like I said, I do like the album. I just want to see the nigga grow more and be more consistent with the rapping. I don't but think. I don't think it's possible. Day, for, I don't think it's possible for Drake to go in the studio and release music that's bad. I don't think it's possible. It's no, yeah, like, but it's just it's, it's, it's underwhelming. Like it's like man, it's the same shit again. Like certified lover boy. I love certified lover boy, but the biggest knock against certified lover boy. 
is that it just sounds like a bunch of Drake music. It's like, all right, it's just Drake's a bunch of Drake songs. Like, this, like it's, it's it's good music, but it's like damn, it's just Drake doing some Drake shit. Like in the Bible with with, with Dirk or way too sexy. Like these songs are cool songs, good songs. But it's like okay. <laughs> it's like we like the collab album with Twenty One Savage more than we've liked a lot of things he's done over the past few years. But I do give him credit. He's he he tried taking a risk. I know a lot. Twenty One kind of been holding Drake on his shoulders the last two years. Last I'm, t- year. I'm tired of that. I'm tired of that sound. I'm tired of the two together. Me too. I'm tired of that sound. And just and see, I guess that's the question, right? We've been through the lyrical miracle. We've been through the lyrical miracle era. We've been through the club club song like we've been through the crunk trap we've been through the dope dealer rack rap rap we've been through the like the the mumble the melodic the auto tune we've been through so many eras what is next like that's gonna be innovative what's next what can be done at this point I'm losing you I can't hear you bro Oh 